is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the OVA of Suzuki to me, you know, like, oh. Okay, I I was not expecting this to come out this week, Um, especially when we got the announcement for this and saying, oh, hey, it's going to be out this week, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I was expecting this more to come out, like, so many months later. And I wanted to do this last night, and I I was watching stuff with my mom, and the next thing you know, I went in my room, and I was like, okay, I'm going to start recording. I said I was going to record at 12 o'clock. Well, that didn't happen. Um, I stayed up till about a good 5, 6 in the morning, and I said, okay, I'm going to wait until it gets light outside, and then I'm going to start recording. Well, that didn't end up happening either because I fell asleep, and I literally just woke up for like the second, third time like an hour ago. And I also need to go to my job to go see if my freaking check is there. So, it's a lot of things your girl has to do today. But, I'm so excited for this. I did see a clip um, on Twitter. And I have talked about it on Twitter if you follow me on Twitter. But, like, oh, I'm so excited for this. Like, oh. But, other than that, let's go ahead and get started. And three, two, one, go. You know what? A very simple type opening with their name and the title, and then that's it. We would have just got it to the episode. I was like, oh, shit. Uh, I feel like this is just going to be me fangirling the whole entire episode. I don't I'm still kind of hoping we do get season two with this. I mean, because, you know, I, I want to see more of their relationship. And then plus, because it was already confirmed that we're getting the spinoff, like, anime, uh, like, blah, 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 the spinoff manga animated. So I am excited for that. And that was also what I talked about in the video that I saw for the clip. And it was like, oh, okay, like, oh, this is cute and wholesome. Like, they gave us that little tease and such. And it's just like, you know, you just want the whole freaking meal. Like, I, I you know... They give you a little, like, thing of apple pie, but you want the whole thing, or, like, cheesecake, and you just... Uh... Ah! God, I just, seeing him again, just, um, my heart. <laughs> Those eyes, like, I mean, that's my weakness, but God. <laughs> Huh? Mm. 
means the relationship's doomed. I honestly want to rewatch the show so freaking bad, but because I am super busy, like, ugh. No time. No, oh my god, no, 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 no. <laughs> Once again, our ex chairman is acting more gojo. <laughs> like, oh my god, <laughs> but he's not voiced by gojo. <laughs> Hell, it's more hilarious to watch like Tokyo Me Mew Mew and hear both. Megumi and Gojo, but like, even though they haven't had a scene together. In a way, it just seems like he's just giving Suzaki his approval, both of them. God, Kudarun is just scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, Kudarun. Once again, one cat is me and the other one's Sasaki, and then, you know, eventually they're gonna come together. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> oh, you my time. Okay. Mm-hmm.
pretty. Right? But <laughs> oh. Oh, cutie. Oh. <laughs> no, it's the bell. <laughs> Maybe inside the school? I mean, if it's not on the grounds, it has to be, well, outside of the school. But then, yeah, it has to be inside. No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> can see why they fell for each other. But maybe if you would have let the cat go, we could have followed the cat, and maybe he took all the other keys. You know, you never know. But maybe. Oh, he's so cute. He's cute, but I can't have him, of course. Like, oh.
ate, there's something in the cat's mouth. Right, and I feel like they all represent, oh. Yeah, and all these cats represent them as characters. <laughs> Of course, that makes sense. Uh. Yeah, what is in the box? Kinda like Pikachu in a way. <laughs> a, a little bit. <laughs> a bowling ball? A bowling ball. A bowling ball. How? Please, because you have to graduate. We already know you graduated, but like still. They're about to have one more special moment at the end of this episode, aren't they? This could be it right here.
that was so this episode went by quick it went by quick it had some slow moments to chill it out but like oh this was a good freaking OVA I like the fact that it was like at first even though I was kind of expecting like the OVA to be officially the episode of after they started dating just like a random just thing that is still canon to the original series but I do like the fact that we got to see another episode before they officially started dating and still they're like Mia Chan is like still indecisive at that moment it's just like you know in your mind you know how a story is gonna end and they're gonna be together seeing Hirano with his significant other which really cute I was not expecting that you know even though I saw the clip a couple of days ago now, if I had not seen that clip, oh, I would have fangirled even more and such. Because he is so cute. He definitely gives, like, himbo vibes to me. And, and like, see, my thing is, uh, and I, bl I blame kind of anime. Even though he doesn't have a himbo-esque body, himbos are kind of my weakness. But it, it's something about him where he's just <laughs> pretty and dumb. But some of them are smart, though. And it's just something about that is really hella attracted to me. And I'm just like smitten like a damn kitten <laughs> awesome yes can we talk about all the cats today i mean there was a whole bunch of cats and i love the fact that like there was kind of a cat that was instantly that instantly matched with the character and such like for the ex chairman like that that was just chef kiss like uh but, I, I mean, it was a very interesting episode. I love the fact that it was just about, you know, lost items and searching for a lost key. And also about these cats at the same time. But also saying and showing, oh, hey, even though we are somewhat done with Sasaki and Mino's story, here is something else that is going to come. We just don't know when it's going to come. And I have no problem with waiting. I just, you know, your, your girl need it. Your girl, your girl wants it. I thrive in it. I, I just, I deserve it. Like, seriously. I, it's just, and, and that's what I just really, you know, love about B.O. Love. B.O. Love is just, like, super duper just, like, so good. Because, like, my, I remember one time my friend and I, we had a conversation about, we were talking about, like, um, the differences of female idol series versus male idol series. With female ones, you know how, like, they're very driven and everything, and, you you get shipping moments with them and such, but the show isn't overall the shipping, like, oh, it's just like, oh, like, okay, mm, I gotta think of an example. Like, let, let's say where have you Starlight, in a way, because that's, like, the first thing that just popped in my head. Um, yes, it tells the girls about, like, their hopes, their wants, their dreams. We do get shippable moments and stuff. Um... But there are other shows where it's like, oh, hey, here, we're just going to have it be about this ship and this ship only. You want to see these characters be like their characters and see everything. And so you get that with Revue Starlight. You get to see everything, plus you get the shippable moments. But with something like, I think, mm, I don't know if Shai and I didn't do this, but like some male idol animes and the one male magical girl show that I did watch several years ago it's more about oh hey like let's just make this like not only the fan service stuff but then at the same time let's just make this all about the ships and we're not going to give them um or make them three-dimensional make them like show care show the audience like oh this is what they want to strive towards these are their goals their hopes, their wants, their dreams, everything else, da, da, da. it's just about, like, the ships. And sometimes, and I've said this once with so many other shows, and I'll say it again, ships can make or break a show. That's the biggest thing. Even in regular cable behind shows, those can make or break shows. As someone who's been in certain fandoms um, of certain TV shows and animes and have seen people... And also has been a part of some ship things and seen how it's ruined a fandom and such. And that it's like a full, it's like a shell of what it once was. It is sad because it's like you sometimes you, th you sit there and you wonder where did we go wrong and such. But then everyone you like, I I'll never forget. Like I remember this one <laughs> fandom I was a part of and we were shipping people. 
And we got into a freaking argument because, of course, not everybody's going to see eye to eye and everything. But, I mean, you know, going back to my, like, original conversation on this, like, yes, this was good. Very, very good. I love, like, the hint of, you know, and his freaking boyfriend. I just, I, I need it. Okay? Just give it to me. It, it can come out in the fall. We have enough time. I mean, it's only, you know, <laughs> almost August. So, <laughs> you know, it's only July. But something tells me. Um, because I am full, I'm like, in a way, I'm kind of fully booked for fun, you know, I got things to do. Um, so I'm expecting the Hirano and his, his SO, his, his series to probably come out maybe sometime next year or the year before, year after, possibly. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I do hope that their series just has a lot of sweet um wholesome moments between those two as much as we got with Sasaki and Mio I, you know I still am praying that we kind of get a season two to this um despite I think the last time we had the conversation about this I, I don't know how far the they were close to the manga I know they were someone said they were pretty close but um not super duper close. It's very almost like very similar how I was when I was like, oh, address up, darling. They are close to like recent stuff, but still they're far away from everything to a point where they could get a season two and do a season two for my dress up, darling. But of course, once again, that's another thing that we have to wait on. But yes, I really enjoyed this episode. It felt so good to come back to these group of characters and to see and here, these seiyus return as these characters one more time up until, you know, hey, we get something else. So I, I think another thing that I'm kind of hoping for the Hero of spinoff is that, of course, it's going to take place at the same time around with these two. So, of course, you're going to see the chairman again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I, I'm just. I think. Yeah. There's really nothing else for me to say. We're gonna get wholesome moments, and it's gonna be sweet. And I want to fangirl a lot, probably, <laughs> knowing myself. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the OVA of Sasaki and Miyano. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join my squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next time, or later on in the week, or sometime next week during Hell Week Part Two, because it is going to be super hard for me to record. But I am going to try to get everything done and such. But yeah, until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.